Welcome back to my channel. I did a whole YouTube video about the pyramid. Why I did it, how it worked, when it was me and when it was the producers, and you all gave your feedback, thank you very much. You wanted me to react to the most explosive pyramids. Well, here we go. Buckle up your seat belts and get ready for the ride of your life. What this is, and why does Melissa have 50,000 hair pieces in? The pyramids are nuts, and the moms still get crazy over a piece of paper on a mirror. I don't get it. Sometimes. Four inch crown on her head. She did a good job. The movie just, no, we're not gonna do it. I'm not gonna have her be scared for the next six months because she watched the movie you wanted her to watch. Like. She didn't watch the movie. She watched the trailer. Now, what if people didn't watch JoJo's movie? They just watched the trailer. Zest, it was good. Well, if you're so good, you don't really need to be a part of the Abby the Dance Company. <gasps> if you're so good, you don't need to be part of the Abby the Dance Company. Dun, 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 dun. She deserves to be on the pyramid. But my she hair's great there. She deserves nothing. She deserves nothing. To that you are entitled in this world. You earn it. You're not entitled to it. Ugh, these kids. Else, you earn it. Cry. You can't stand here and cry. I will no, 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 cry. I think this went viral on TikTok too. Get out. Go. Go. Okay. Go. Go. But now that kid is tough as nails. Look at what she's been through in the last two years. And she sells out concerts all over the country. She would not be able to do that if she was a, you know, sissy, like crying all the time. Weak. Let's get to the pyramid. But Kendall is at the bottom. You are back on probation. You are back on probation. Jill flips out. Abby, what more do you want from her? She said, what do you want from my child? And I kind of went through the list of things that are problems and she's not fixing them. And you know, when your mother thinks you're perfect, that's kind of what happens. You're back on probation, not my daughter. Mm, well, my name's on the sign. It's kind of hard to be on probation and shoot a TV show. Right, it's my building. Why my name's on the front. So line. what? I don't even know why I'm here. You had nothing nice to say to her. I have nothing nice to say to her since the moment they got there. Uh, hello, Jill, who took you by the hand put you in the interview chair and ask the producers to put you on camera and interview you because you were an attractive woman and I thought your kid would be great on the show. Who did that? I did that for you. I did that. So don't act all buddy-buddy with them and turn on me because they really never wanted you on the show. And that whole story, getting Jill on the show, she has acknowledged. I talk to Jill every once in a while, and she is grateful and thankful that she was on the show Dance Moms. And she knows I'm the reason. All right. I walk in, I have a horrible shot of the back of me, and I take all the pictures off of the wall and throw them in the garbage. I've had it. There's not enough people to do a pyramid. I've had it. I have That's to go it. back to the drawing board. No pyramid. No pyramid. So this next pyramid, I really lay in to one of the season eight cast members. Who is it? Let's watch. At the bottom, Lily, you've messed up in a dance almost every single week. I expect more from you. The reason Lily keeps messing up in the routines is because she's not used to dancing in a group. She's used to being a soloist, and in her hometown, she studies ballet. That's really it. And she doesn't perform, she doesn't compete anymore. She's just a member of the ALDC, you know, for the television cameras. Now, Hannah is the one that I go after. All over the country. Do you have anything to say for yourself? She says nothing, she stands there. And now her mother's gonna stick up for her again. All Really, Anne, as an educator, I should? Now, Anne, who is a dance teacher, who owns a dance studio, is going to tell me about educating children. Uh, hello, Anne. How many kids do you have on Broadway? 
Well, I'm happy to say that Anne does have one student on Broadway now. Back then, nobody. But now her son, William, is in The Music Man on Broadway. Yay, William. So Anne can boast about that. But Hannah got in big trouble this week on Dance Moms. However, last week, she was with me here in Los Angeles, California at my spring thing, dancing her heart out. And she looks great. And she wasn't with her mother. On top of the pyramid, I think the kids think it's gonna be Brooke. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. On top of the pyramid, nobody. They didn't get higher than fourth place. Why would they be on top of the pyramid? I've been playing by the rules with Abby. I haven't been name calling. I haven't been fighting with her. She never paid her tuition on time. And then she would go upstairs and brag to everybody. I got past the front desk again. I'm not paying them. I'm not paying that fee. Blah, 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 blah. So playing by the rules, lie. Here we think this is the day I emptied my purse. Yes, I was looking for my silver earrings and I couldn't find them. So before pyramid, I needed my earrings. So I'm dumping out my purse trying to find them. You have to watch my video where I show you what's in my bag. I mean, can I talk to you? I'm in the middle of pyramid. I'm in a dance studio with all these kids ready to dance and you want to talk to me? Make an appointment. We have a competition this weekend. I'm going to be there with you. Oh, hell no, you're not going to be there with me. She's throwing things in that cowboy hat. And it wasn't a rope. She didn't lasso anybody. She was just throwing things. Yeah. Crazy, this whole thing is nuts. The Season eight, yourselves. Pyramid. I don't really blame Abby for this. Brady. You know, the mom's got obsessed with the attention. I'm telling Brady he's going home because he's too good. Ridiculous. I just wanna say that I worked very hard to get here where I am today. He has worked hard to get there. I've tried to get a boy on the show for 10 years now. I was at a network party shortly after this in Los Angeles. And one of the executives came up to me and said, oh my goodness, I heard that they sent Brady home. And I was on the phone in less than 10 minutes saying you better get that kid back there fast. Somebody got in trouble over sending Brady home. And it wasn't me. Abby is not doing her job. What she did last week was wrong. I'm trying to protect your- Did you hear that? Go back and look at your pictures when you were a baby, meaning a young dancer, a little one at the studio, before your mom made you a mini me. The kids had this audition out here in LA. It was set up by production and they had sides to read. Everybody went in, everybody read them. Nia took the whole story, the whole television script in a completely different direction because that's what Dr. Holly would do. She would just make it into something else. They're kids. When kids audition for roles in Hollywood or even on Broadway, they want them to be kids, just like the kid next door, just a kid. They don't want a little girl to audition for a role in a Broadway show and look better than the leads, have much better technique, uh, have a better voice, uh, have better acting skills. They just want them to be kids. And the mothers need to realize that, especially the mothers that have their doctorates. All of this happened, this big blow up, meltdown, liar, blah, 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 before I ever got to the pyramid. Who knows, maybe Neo is on top of the pyramid. Did I ever do a pyramid? Does anybody out there know? Put it in the comments below. Did I get to the pyramid? Who was on top? Let me know. What I will say about Nia is that she was the one that wanted to be in class. She wanted to get better. She even stayed and was a demonstrator for some of the younger kids' classes at the studio after we wrapped shooting. So I appreciated that. I think Nia realized that Education was important. Her mother, her dad, they stressed that. Education was important in their family. And uh, just like your academics, your dance education is important too. She knew that. And she knew that by being on this show, she needed to dance. And she needed to do it well. 
Some of the other kids took it for granted. Nia didn't. She worked hard. And I'm not sure what this meltdown was all about, but let's just say things worked out for Nia. This next one is an oldie but goodie. Look at Peyton's face. Just look at her. She thinks that she's on top of the pyramid. Kids, never show the emotion. You never know what's going to happen. So you have to keep it together, keep it cool, no reaction. By process of elimination, Peyton is guessing she's on top of the pyramid. Let's see what happens. No offense to Peyton, but she towers over this dance team. She doesn't fit in. She doesn't fit in. She dances very mature. And she has an older sister who's a dancer, who's done amazing things here in Los Angeles, California. And she just dances older. She looks older. She's taller. Doesn't fit in. It's not about being the best dancer. It's about working together as a group, being part of the team. I cannot stress that enough. You have to fit in. It's so important. You can be an amazing, tiny little dancer, but you're too little, you're too young. Or you can be an amazing teen dancer. You're too old, you're too mature. You have to fit into my junior elite competition team. And uh, Leslie went off crazy. And now she's fighting with the other mom. So I love it. When they don't fight with me and they fight with each other, woof, it's a good day. You know what, Abby? If you don't want her, we will find somebody that wants her to compete on their team. Hey, let's go. All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. That is enough to look back at. The pyramid, not my favorite thing. I used to argue and fight and carry on with the producers before that pyramid. Now, I'm sure we could do a part two, a part three, a part four. If you want to see more reactions to the pyramids, comment below. Let me know.